Hello, and welcome to Grizzly's video joiner pals. My name is Kent, and this is Sean, an engineer here at Grizzly. Hi. Together we'll show you step by step how to properly install or replace straight blades in joiners using Woodstock's joiner pals. We're working with a Grizzly G0452 6 inch joiner today, but the procedure is the same for the majority of joiners out there. This is one in a series of how-to videos we are producing, making it easier for our customers to upgrade and maintain their Grizzly equipment. This video is designed to give an overview of the correct way to use these jigs and to help you visualize the process. It should be used in conjunction with the instructions that came with your machine and the jig. We recommend you watch this entire video and read the instructions thoroughly before using these jigs. But most important, follow all shop safety procedures. And remember, there are no more important safety devices than these. The first step is to disconnect the jointer from the power source. Move the jointer fence all the way to the rear of the jointer table and set it at 90 degrees using a precision square. Remove or rotate the cutter head guard out of the way so it does not interfere with cutter head access. We'll need to locate the high point of the cutter head rotation. This is known as top dead center. Place a straight edge on the outfeed table and extend it over the cutter head. Rock the cutter head back and forth under the straight edge. The point that the knife just barely touches the underside of the straight edge will be its highest point. This is top dead center. While keeping the knife here, mark a corresponding spot on the fence with a fine point marker. Now take a square and scribe a vertical line at the same position. We recommend you scribe the line with an awl or a similar tool. This will give you a permanent reference for the next time you need to adjust or replace your knives on that joiner. Place your joiner pal on the outfeed table against the fence. There is a scribe line on the joiner pal directly over the powerful permanent magnets. Move the joiner pal to align this with the line you scribed on the fence. Now mark a corresponding spot on the fence with the rear scribe line of the joiner pal. Remove the joiner pal and use a square to scribe a second line on the fence at this mark. You should now have two vertical lines on the fence about four inches apart. With the square in the same location, flip it down flat on the outfeed table and at a right angle with the fence. Mark a 90 degree line across the outfeed table corresponding exactly with the rear vertical line on the fence. These lines will allow you to set the knives precisely at top dead center by lining them up with the lines on the body of the jig. Place the joiner pal back on the table and line it up with the marks on the fence and table. In this position, the joiner pal will now hold your jointer knives precisely in place while you tighten them in the cutter head. To install a new or replacement set of knives, insert one knife into the cutter head and place the jig on the outfeed table with all the scribe marks aligned. Rotate the cutter head so the tip of the knife lines up with the scribe mark on the fence. The powerful magnets on the joiner pal will hold the knife in place while you snug the gib bolts to secure the knife in the cutter head. Once the gibs are snug, repeat this procedure for the remaining knives. Once all the knives are set, remove the jig and tighten the gibs evenly around the cutter head. Another great feature of the joiner pal is the ability to shift nick knives instead of having to replace or resharpen them. Sometimes there is a small stone or a nail on the wood you run through the joiner. This will nick the blades. Rather than replacing the blades, you can now offset them from each other with absolute precision. Simply loosen the knives in the cutter head and use the jointer pal to shift them so the nicks do not overlap from one knife to the next. Make sure the tip of each knife lines up with the scribe mark on the fence and retighten in the cutter head. That's it! Now let's make some sawdust. 